Hello YouTube. Um, in this video or in the next several videos, I'm going to be showing you how to make this file into a stock removal knife. I picked this up at a garage sale for 25 cents. Um, the teeth on it are kind of rusted off and it's got a few chips out of it, so I thought this would be a good candidate to make a knife with and I want to get more into knife making, so I figure a stock removal knife would be the best way to go to start out with and then I can move on to forging. I have done quite a bit of forging in the past, but I need to get set up for it again. I got my forge built, but don't have an anvil yet or anything like that. Um, to make this, all I'm, you really need is a file and a hacksaw. I've got a drill press and a desktop grinder and an angle grinder, a few other power tools that I'm going to use. But I know that this all can be accomplished with a file. So without further ado, let's get started on kind of profiling this knife and getting the basic design figured out. Once I had my design drawn out on the knife, I used my angle grinder to start cutting it out and shaping. Um, you can see the sparks flying out here showing this is a pretty good hard steel. Um, I maybe should have tried to anneal it first, but my forge isn't currently set up, so I thought for this knife I would just go without the annealing process. Um, another thing I did make sure was I did not let the knife get too hot at any point in time. Anytime it got hotter than I could touch with my hand, I dipped it in water and cooled it off before continuing. Once I had profiled out the tip of the blade, I started working on the tang. Um, you'll see me checking it several times here to see how it fit in the hand. I was trying not to take too much material away from this area because I wanted a full tang knife. And there's not a whole lot to work with here, but I did get a nice little churl or bevel, whatever you want to call it there, right around the top of the grip, which should keep the knife from slipping in my hand, or at least that's my hope. The last part of profiling the tang was to cut off the little tail of the file. Once that was done, I was able to start beveling the blade. I decided to use my wire wheel to try and clean off some of the rust before I ground the bevels. Um, in retrospect, this was probably a waste of time, but it seemed to help a little bit. The first thing I did to start grinding my bevels was to grind all the teeth off the blade edge of the file. I did this to create a flat surface so that I could mark it with a drill bit that is the approximate size of the blade so I kind of knew where the center line of my file was so that way when I start grinding my bevels I can keep them somewhat centered. To mark the center line I used a carpenter's pencil to black the edge that I just flattened and then I used a drill bit that's the approximate width of the file to mark the center line. Um, I did it on both sides, so what you see is two lines. They're not quite on top of each other, but it did give me a good reference point for where the center of the file was. The last step is probably the longest and most arduous. Uh, using this center line, I slowly removed material from both sides until the bevels met in the middle of the file. Um, doing it this way and using the grinder, I kind of ended up with more of a convex edge. I could have ground it down to a steeper bevel, but I kind of liked how it looked. And with a convex edge, I should still have enough sharpness to do things like carving or processing game. But also having that convex edge, I mean, this knife would be very good at chopping and batoning wood. So for my first try, I thought this worked out well and didn't really need any more touch up beyond what I did. Once I had the majority of my bevel done with the right angle grinder, I pulled out my little bench top grinder to kind of refine the bevels a little bit and to finally put an edge on this. Um, the edge I put on here is nothing great, but it is a start. I plan on using my stones to actually do the final sharpening on this knife though. The last thing I did was attempt to drill uh, the pinholes for the handle. Um, but what I found out is the drill bit I bought was either too cheap or this file was just that hard because in the end I barely scratched the file and I ground the entire tip of this drill bit smooth. So um, if anybody's any tips on there how to drill through hard metal with a drill press or maybe I just need a better drill bit, I don't know. Um, so in the next video I will attach the handle and kind of show you the solution I found for that. If you found this video helpful or informative, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.